Hello, hello, my crafty friends. I'm here to share my uh, most recent journal that I finished, completed with you. Um, I have a couple others in the works that I'll be sharing with you soon. Um, this one is full of um, antique and vintage ephemera. Um, it's the real ephemera. It's not um, d digital downloads of the ephemera. It's all um, antique and vintage. And so I'm calling this kind of a vintage Parisian because the colors of it just for some reason kind of remind me of a, a Parisian movie or story, I guess you could say. So the front um, has this little placard that is embossed with this tag that has this pretty um, leaf design. And so then I stenciled leaf on each of the corners there to go with it and the spine has some vintage ribbon and this pretty red with gold flecked um, ribbon as well there's three signatures one of the signatures um, sewn in is hidden behind the ribbon there but you can see the other two um, I did a paper bag and grunged it all up and scrunched it and did a, like three different um, distress inks on it to give it kind of a um, old leather, worn leather look to it. Let's head on inside. So each of the signatures have their own theme. One is red, one is blue, and one is green. That's um, just kind of happened that I thought that was a fun way to, to do the signatures. So I sewed on some ribbon and lace here on a little pocket, have this beautiful postcard that is postmarked from 1927 it looks like. Anyways, um, from Paris, of a picture of the Eiffel Tower. I have a, and a, uh, a division card from the 80s, and then an old envelope that has a piece of graph paper in it for drawing on, or writing on. There's just little hints of Paris like this in here. Um, it's not overly Paris theme, it's mostly the colors that to me kind of reminded me of Paris for some reason. So the red is the first signature and it just has lots of papers in it. Um, old ledger papers, some um, note papers, old activity logs, some old maps. This is also from uh, a map from a map book that's from the 80s. I sewed in some ribbon here in the red ribbon for the red journal, red paper in here. Some old school graph paper. This came out of a, a actual school that when it was closing. Um, some postcards with some red ribbon or not postcards, <laughs> paper clips with red ribbon on it and then a old Bolivian dollar not sure what you'd call it, but it's a dollar, a, a money bill from Bolivia. And it's not really worth more than a dollar, so I put it in here instead of keeping it <laughs> or selling it. So in the center of each of the um, signatures is a folder that you can tuck stuff in. Here's an old bingo card. I used some twine as some of the fun frills that you see on top of the journal here. And this one is attached to a heart paper clip. Um, and then just a little nod to the Parisian theme. I put this messy um, stamp or paper clip. And then there's a stamp, one stamp in each signature of the Eiffel Tower. 
So it's all pretty much the same here. All the other half of the pages. Then we come to the blue signature where everything, the, pa the, the design paper that I used is blue, the ribbons are blue, um, there's the Eiffel Tower stamped, more map paper, here's an old power and light company um, bill for from 1927 that is marked as paid that I thought was fun and it is blank on the back so you can use it as writing space if you so wish to. Blue ribbon in the blue signature. So it's pretty much similar same um, kind of pages papers that I used throughout the whole book. Here's a old I thought this would be fun in the blue one since it's all blue print, but um, an old taxidermy <laughs> um, methods book on how to do taxidermy. Um, I'm not sure exactly what year it's from. Let's see here. It doesn't doesn't say what year it's from, but I did pick it up at an antique store. The um, Staples have rusted, so it is a little bit aged. Exactly how aged it is, I'm not sure, but you no, know, it's another fun little piece of ephemera to have there. Another division card. This is an old um, tag from a furniture company in Yakima, Washington, that. Um, I picked up an antique store that I put in this center of this signature. I have a clip here, an alligator type clip with the twine on it. And then again, the same papers, some fold out, activity logs, the map, um, all different sizes of papers. This one says Amori on it, or Amor, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And then this is from a shorthand book that I recently picked up at an antique store. I just thought it was so fun. It is all aged up on its own. The book itself is from 1929, and you know, shorthand is not an art that is practiced anymore, so it's fun to see that it really does just look like squiggles. Um, I really enjoyed it, so I've added a piece of that. And then here's the green signature. More pages of all the same, just green um, pattern paper. Pieces out of a, a planner. What I thought was fun, wish lists, paper, foldouts, the map, paper clip here is from, is with a green ribbon. Um, this comes from a book that I have that has information about postage stamps in it and on the back it says notes. It's from an old book. I thought that was a fun piece to put in here green ribbon sewed on in this page, more paper, lots of paper for writing on, the middle signature, uh, this is like an old, I picked up at an antique store, it's a coaster, it's a paper coaster, it's just beautiful, and I thought you could use the back side of it to write on, <clears throat> and then this green folder in the center of the signature here, another one of the division cards vintage from the 80s and, and then here is an old envelope from uh, the P Northwest Pacific Railroad Company it was used to put stamps in and it was when stamps were four cents and five cents for stamps um, there's even three cents marked here so 
um, that was quite a while ago when just stamps were that nice of a price. Certainly not close to that today. And the rest of the pages are the signature. And then here in the back is a um, piece of antique ephemera. It says your home library and it lists all kinds of books under different subjects. And I thought it was just a really neat piece of antique paper along with this book clip. And the pocket here on the back and some ribbon and burlap or not burlap but canvas ribbon there and then the back of the signature is all plain and that is this book i hope you guys um like it it will be listed in my etsy shop um and uh, whoever is the lucky person to get this i hope they enjoy the book Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I want to thank all my subscribers who follow me for um, watching my videos and liking my videos. I, I appreciate all of you. So have a great day. Bye.